Okay, Richard, well, the crowds are getting bigger and bigger all the time. Was this part of your plan? To it was, yes. Yeah. The, reason we, the reason we chose to come down to Bristol is because it was a nice central location. We'd checked out in advance what the area was going to be like for the elevation, because being relatively early morning, we knew there might be a problem with the, uh, the skyline and buildings. So coming here to Castle Park, we knew we were high enough to get above all the views, and so it's proved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, I assume, is not happening. <laughs> not, not just yet. <laughs> This is a uh, projection device. This is a small telescope and the telescope projects an image of the sun onto a mirror inside and the mirror reflects it onto a white screen at the back and thus reduces the brilliance of it so you don't damage your eyes with this device. Okay, so, so you had a lot of interest in it so far from the public? Oh yes, yes people are fascinated about what goes up there. So we're skiving off work. So. Oh yeah. yes, uh, well, your boss is probably going to find it's five out. five to so. nine, it's okay. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's really good, I was surprised by how much you can see. Um, yeah. yeah. yeah and it is, the clouds definitely clear and you've seen a lot more now. It's been quite kind to us though, hasn't it? Yeah, it is, so, yeah. It's a good turnout as well. It makes it more dramatic because you're watching yeah. and then you're like, there it is! <laughs> It's nice that like loads of people come together and have a look at it. Yeah. Enjoying the event so far? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit yeah, cloudy, but... How did you hear about this, this gathering, or did you just, you just oh, walk in past? We just, or... get, we just guessed, yeah. past the park might be a good place to watch it. Have, have you tried looking through any telescopes yet? Or? No, we haven't actually, yeah. I'm just looking at the sun. If I were to stare through that telescope, what would I see? You, be, you would be able to see the sun, Excellent. very not cloudy. Um, this is a specialist uh, telescope called a hydrogen alpha telescope. So it filters in just the hydrogen surface of the sun. So all you can see is the surface of the sun, but you can see things like prominences and sunspots with it as well. Come round, it's fine. I thought a minute you were projecting on the floor. But no, no, no. So what have you got here then? It's uh, essentially a pinhole camera. It's got a piece of kitchen foil over the end with a tiny pinhole in it, mm -hmm. and that projects the light from the sun through here onto this little screen at the bottom. It's just a bit of white card, mm -hmm. and I've cut a hole so I can see it. So if I line it up with the sun by looking at my shadow, until the shadow is as small as I can make it, which means I'm pointing it at the sun, the image is then projected onto the card at the bottom so I can stand here and see the eclipse without looking directly at the sun. We're from at Bristol Science Centre and we brought our special solar telescope here to Castle Park so that we can get a good view of the solar eclipse. This is a special telescope that allows us to safely observe the sun and we've had lots of people come through and get a fantastic view of this eclipse. It was cloudy earlier but it's cleared up at the moment for the peak of it which is uh, fantastic, brilliant timing uh, and you get a really good view. Um, lots of people have got these solar glasses as well which also blocks out almost all of the light actually, about 99.999% of the sun's light to allow us to uh, safely observe it. Are yeah, you sort of surprised by the extent of the turnout or did you expect it to be so popular? I reckon like this sort of thing really like people really get excited about so I'm yeah. surprised that quite a lot of people wanted to come out and see it. So yeah. Is it the first yeah. eclipse you've seen? Or? Yeah, the last one was 16 years ago, I don't remember yeah. it at all. <laughs> I did see one when I, I was, was really young yeah. but the way, yeah. the way my mum showed me it was with a bit of um, hole punched paper over another piece of paper okay. and we were just trying to look at whether it was going to get darker and I got very disappointed. Not quite the same. This one's much cooler. <laughs> We were lucky then, weren't we? The sun came the out. The sun came out right at the just at the right moment before we got to the maximum eclipse. Yeah. We've had hundreds of people down here thinking it's been better than we could have ever imagined, and we still get a beautiful view of the sun through the telescopes now as the moon's moving away, mm. and it's really, really, really been far, far, far better than I could have ever have hoped for when we were looking at the weather forecast earlier in the week. So yeah, brilliant day. And when, when's the next one then? Oh. Well, there's, there's a total eclipse in America in 2017. Might be organising a holiday. <laughs>